<laughs> well, good morning, everybody. In case you don't know why we're here, we're here on behalf of the Daisy Committee. So, in 2018, CPD got a wonderful award that recognizes nurses. So, last year we took on recognizing a nursing team, a nursing leader, and then the honorees is anyone other than a nurse. So, we're here to recognize our very first Daisy Team Award. And guess what? It's all our five. Daisy hey. started with a family. They had a family member named Patrick Barnes who passed away of an autoimmune disease, and they wanted a way to recognize the wonderful care that they received from the healthcare workers. So that's how Daisy got started. So let's recognize um, who got awarded. So Kayla's going to read the wonderful story that was presented by the family. Um, so there's multiple nominations and then uh, the stories get reviewed as blinded so no one knows who and what they're about and then are voted on by teams of nurses. And so this is a lovely story that was um, presented from the family. Um, on May 3rd, 2023, our mother, Maureen Pluet, uh, arrived at CBPH by ambulance. She passed away on May 11th, 23. <laughs> on 5-4-23, my sister and I were told that our mother was dying. She was dying of kidney failure. She also had... Uh, Calciphylaxis. This is a rare painful disease that caused horrible painful lesions, ulcers, and sores on her legs. Her doctor advised us that dialysis was not guaranteed to help her. He also stated that her legs may need to be amputated and that calciphylaxis would continue to spread throughout the body. So with heavy hearts, my sister and I decided, decided that because she had a DNR, we had to let nature take its course. There were many nurses and staff that took care of our mother during these nine days. All of them were wonderful. But there was a group that our family bonded with and we will never forget them. Ashley, Heather, Jen, and Lizzie on our five. All of them were willing, <clears throat> willing to listen to my sister and I and get to know us and our mother. They made us feel safe, relaxed, and secure. They always spoke passionately about providing comfort for our mother. All of them always took the time to answer questions we had. It didn't matter how busy they were, they made us feel like our mother was their only patient. Each of these women got to know our family and their mother. They know how to treat and take interest in their patient and family on a personal and professional level. They heard things that were not being said. They kept us informed of all changes and were very knowledgeable when we had questions. May 10th was our last night there. Ashley and Jen were on duty. They were wonderful. They were in the room at a minimum of every 15 minutes to make sure our mother was home. They were doing everything they could to make sure this night was as peaceful as possible, from, make, um, from making sure mom's pillows were just right, to anticipating mine and my sister's need for comfort and support. They understand what we were going through. All these nurses had great interpersonal skills, a willingness to listen, and a goal to keep our mother comfortable and relaxed. Watching your mother pass away for nine days is an intense life-changing event. We are extremely grateful for the hugs, stories of Amish dogs, hockey games, and the knowledge and care these women gave. On May 11, 2023, at approximately 5.40 a.m., our mother, Maureen Pluitt, took her last breath. As my sister and I slept beside her, but she wasn't alone because Ashley and Jen were with her. We want to thank them for making sure she wasn't alone. Thank you for the wonderful care during this heartbreaking time. Please recognize these four wonderful, nurse, wonderful nurses for their great compassion and care. They are truly an asset to your hospital. Sincerely, uh, Kelly Osterhut and Kelsey Chong. So with the Daisy Team recognition, we have a wonderful plaque that you can hang with honor on the unit. And then there's also some certificates for everyone. I'm also proud of you. Thank you. Thank you.